That awkwardness. Sorry. I was just going to say thanks for the help. It's been appreciated. That's all. Of course. I'm just glad I haven't been in the way. Far from it. So. So? It's nothing. I just... <laughs> Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. It's not Isn't easy. How I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. Not the <laughs> advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. I'm trying to be nice. Maybe you should handle this one. Yeah. Maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, it might be a little too much for you, darling. Bigby. I... Just be careful. Please. Same goes for you. I will. Good. I hope she appreciates that. Trick trap then. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. Nah. Uh... No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Come on. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? Hmm.
Puff and puff cigarettes. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Well, that's a good question. Let's sit down with this guy. A lot of stools in this place. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something, or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a wine? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. I think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. You're out of paper towels and the... Yeah, so everyone was lying. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. It's been a long fucking day, and I'm starting to get a little cranky. I've got questions, and I'm not leaving without answers. Oh, hello. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Greg. Going to kill you. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. Why'd you do it? No bullshit. Same reason people do a lot of awful things. The money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. Look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was going to rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red what? Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. <laughs> I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Hey, 
Stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Anyone tell you you've got a big fucking mouth? Oh, it gets bigger. Oh. Oh. Hello. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Sucks. You're not worth it, I'm taking your other eye. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck.
said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. No, well, you probably didn't. Just tell me what happened. He's the only shore lead we have. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. Dead and why? Ah, this only makes me think it's all a hoax. Something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Why? The big fat guy's still walking the streets. And we've got to put a lid on this. Can't manage it. I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. Maybe we can arrange that. Uh, what did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Hmm. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, the pimp is my prime suspect. Alrighty then, so this was the first episode. Let's see what we have unlocked actually. Yeah, well, we unlocked a couple of choices. So, depending on the choices you do, you get different stories, which is really nice. Who was he? Grendel. Norse Mead Holds. Ah, alright, so Norse God. Holly. Troll. Tweedles, we know of. Prince Lawrence, face husband. Glamours, Mondays, The Farm, Fable Town, Bufkin, Itchabot Crane, yeah. There's a whole list of people to actually check out. So, yeah. This was at least the first episode of... 
the wolf among us. So thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.